Hi YouTube, it's me Tiff I Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the second of this month's unboxing videos. Now, um, as you can see, I'm still in my work clothes. I've only just got home from work. Um, right, now, package was waiting for me when I got home today. And uh, yeah, um, bit of, ha bit of uh, information or housekeeping on um, what this package is. Because if you look, watch my um, TF Nation haul, you'll know on the Sunday... Um, I went around and I, I noticed that on the Bric-a-Brac store he was selling a load of uh, like, like Marvel G1 Transformers comics. And if we go back in, in history, uh, when I was a, a kid and I, I first got into Transformers, you know, when it hit the UK back in 1984, um, instead of you know, getting into the toy line and the, you know, the cartoon series like most kids did, I sort of I couldn't really afford, afford to get into the toy line. I didn't really watch the cartoon, but instead I got the comics. And uh, the comic started, I think, in October 1984. And uh, I collected the, the Marvel G1 comics right from you know, issue 1 through to issue 199, which I think it was in um, March 1991 I stopped getting them. And uh, I collected, like, nearly 200 comics in that time. Apart from one issue, there was one comic um, that I missed out on because I used to get them from, the <clears throat> from a paper shop at the top of the street I used to live in in Rugby. And uh, one particular week, uh, the paper shop owner, they uh, they sold my subscription comic to uh, somebody who walks in off the street by mistake, you know. So when I got in there, oh, you got my comic this week. Oh, we've sold it, you know. And it's like, so I missed out on one comic. I, I can't remember which issue it was, though. I think it's one of the issues that's actually in this box. Um, but, <laughs> spoilers. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I, I collected those comics. I stopped buying the comics in 1991 because, you know, I was like 19 years old and I was... I was growing out of toys and transformers and um, we moved house from rugby to Leamington and I think it was about in 1992 1993 um, I got the box of comics down out the loft to flick through them and I left them in a chair in the corner of this very room and they disappeared one or other of my parents decided I was throwing them out and disposed of them either took them down the charity shop or took them down the tip. Now, I don't think my mum would have done that because, you know, she would have asked me first before, you know, doing anything with some of my stuff. It was probably my dad, more than likely. It's the sort of thing that he would have done. He probably saw them there thinking I was throwing them out and, and, and got rid of them. And I didn't realise they'd disappeared until some time later when I, where's my comics gone? Where's my Transformers comics gone? You know, and, and by then it was too late. They'd, they'd gone. So I was I was a bit annoyed at the time, but um, the uh, then you know you move forward to like 2014, and I, I start getting into uh, you, know, you know collecting Transformers as an adult collector, and uh, I lament deeply lament you know losing my Transformers comics back in the day, and it's only in recent times I've I've I've, I've sort of been toying with the idea of buying back the the comic issues that I used to have. Because that's what I did with with the Transformer toys that I fit, I believe I used to have when I was a kid. So I got what I referred to as the old gang, which was that bunch of Transformer figures that I uh, I thought I had as a kid, including you know, including like you know, in the Chrono form. Um, he's one of the the figures that I used to have as a kid, and I got you know, got a replacement for him. But anyway, so uh, uh, TF Nation, Bricker Brax had you know, a load of G1 comics. I filled me boots. I bought like. 50 odd comics off him including a couple of duplicates and this has started a process so now I'm in the in the business of every month I'm going to be looking on eBay mostly I'll be looking to buy um, you know you know back issues of the Marvel G1 comics from issue 1 to issue 199 and uh, I got like 57 at TF Nation so that was like that's like a quarter of what I, I want to get but then this month a couple of days ago goes on eBay, does a search, and then there's this guy selling lots of Marvel G1 comics, like concurrent lots from like, you know, from from num, you know, from like ten or twelve batches of ten or twelve comics, all running concurrently, all in the first 100 series. So he had a, a 20 series, he had a 30 series, he had a 40 series, he had a 60 series, and he had a 90 series. These are all comics that I need. So I made a play on all these um, these auction lots, and I missed out on the 20 series because there was somebody um, bidding on it who was really serious about getting it. I bid 50 quid on it, on this comic lot, and I got outbid, and c'est la vie, you know, they wanted it more than what I did, 
would have liked to have had the 20 series, but anyway, missed out on them. But I got the rest of them. So four lots of comics, 44 comics in total, and there's only three duplicates amongst them. So, you know, it's a pretty good haul, actually. So anyway, today, a box has arrived. Now, I'm not sure if all of them are in here because because I ordered these comics as four separate eBay lots, and when you go on to the, the, you know, the, the shipping information, it's kind of confusing. It says free shipments, one of free shipments. It gave me one tracking code for this package, which has arrived. But it, it seems to suggest that they were going to be sent separate, separately, but I don't know. This box is certainly big enough and heavy enough to hold 40-odd comics. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, yeah, I, I'm amazed how many comics I've actually got so soon in, in, in you know starting this this process of, of buying back all these these Marvel G1 comics. It's like I said, it's going to be a very long, expensive, and difficult process to get all get them all back. Especially like the first sort of twenty or thirty comics, they're going to be really really difficult and expensive to to get. Even though an issue one did go up on eBay recently, um, it was incomplete. It was in rough condition but it was an issue one you know and it, it went for a fair bit of money what's in the box wilderness <laughs> okay so we've got um got an envelope which has just got i don't know what's this oh, there's nothing in there it's just just a, just a, just an envelope Right, so, hmm, didn't order that, um, the movie, Winter Special, official comics adaptation, okay, sheet paper, right, here we go, here's the first lot, <laughs> so we have got we've got issue 99 issue 98 issue 100 so this is the 90 series issue 97 96 95 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, and uh, 89. So that's the 90 series comics. So you can see, and they're, they're a pretty good nick actually. They're pretty clean and uh, yeah they're pretty good I, I like those right so next we've got the 60 series so we got um, hang on right now 55 I think this was the issue that I was missing because I don't recognize this cover so this could have been the comic that I missed out on as out on as a kid so that's 55, then we got 56, now I've already, I think I've got 57, so we've got 58, we've got 59, and then we've got 60, now 61 is a duplicate, and I think, yeah 61 is a duplicate, and then we've got 62, 63, oh, 64, 66, I've got 65, I think, and 67, so there's there's another lot of comics, pretty cool, this video is going to take ages by the way, <laughs> so I'm just making sure they're all here, that's all, right, Oh, look at these covers brings back memories. <laughs> oh. 
Right, so uh, 30 series, issue 31. Uh, 33, sorry, no, issue 33, right, issue 34, issue 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42, and of course that, 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 goes into that uh, that 50 series that I got. <clears throat> right, and then the final lot. Now these are looking a little worse for wear. Right, so, slightly tatty, issue 43, issue 44, Issue 45, Issue 46, Issue 47, Issue 48, Issue 49, Issue 50, Issue 51, Issue 52 and issue 53. So yeah, as you can see, um, got amazing lot of comics there. Like I said, I paid 65 quid for it originally, but then the guy gave me a slight discount. He gave me a five pound discount, so I only paid just over 60 quid for 44 comics. But there's a lot of them that's early series, you know, 30 series, 40 series, 50 series. I'm I'm over the moon. And as I've you know just shown them to you. Condition of them seems to be really good. I haven't flipped through them all the way through. There's a few that have got you no know, slightly, you no know, like like that's what is it? One of them's got like a like a really you no know, damaged spine. But these are comics. These are paper items that came out in the, like the mid mid to late eighties, and they ain't gonna be in the best of condition. Let's put it that way. I'm I'm quite happy with what I've got here. I've done really well. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll fill me boots with comics this month. <laughs> As you can see, and this unboxing video has gone on a bit long, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was there that I bought, and it is, and I'm I'm absolutely thrilled with what I got. I would have liked to have got the 20 series. The 20 series would have been a coup if I'd have got that, but like I said, somebody else was bidding against me, and they're all auctions, and he was bidding against me and boosted the price up, and uh, I bid 50 quid, he bid more, so so la vie, you know, he wanted it more than me, so fair enough. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that's been my unboxing video for today. <laughs> Rather unusual one. It's not plastic items, it's paper items, but still, you know, it, it's something that I'm going to be doing, you know, from, from now on until I, I, I complete the task which I've set myself to do, which is to try and get back all the comics I had as a kid. I'm almost halfway there already. I'm almost halfway there. So what I got TF Nation and what I've got here is a massive haul of comics and it's going to be difficult to get especially like the low the the, the the first 30 comics they're going to be an absolute bitch to get hold of at a decent price but I, I'm, I'm very happy with what i've got here and the, the the thing about buying comic lots especially depending on you know whether it's it's like you know you know 10 comics or, or like two or three comics when I get to the end of the month and I've got a little bit of budget left in my in my you know my monthly budget, I can always go on eBay and, and maybe buy a small comic lot you know for a couple of quid, you know just just to to you know, fill out my uh, my budget and you know get some more comics in stock. But I will be getting obviously more duplicates and you know two hundred series comics, you know comics with two hundred beyond, which I'm not really interested in getting. So it's going to be a minefield going forwards. But uh, I've done really well here. Very pleased with what I got, and that's my unboxing video for today. Rather unusual, very lengthy unboxing video, but uh, anyway, the box is empty. I've been TFI Wilderness, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Ta da!